Republicans walk out as drag nun Sister Roma honored at California Capitol. In response to ceremonies on the floor of the legislature, honoring what they say are an offensive group of men who dress in drag as nuns. We're not uh, protesting. We're not yelling and screaming. We're just praying. If you're mocking nuns who have devoted their lives to serving the poor today, what's to stop the legislature from mocking our Jewish brothers and sisters, our Muslim brothers and sisters? Please don't weaponize your religion and exercise your own internalized homophobia and transphobia to discriminate against my community. I think we're all doing a lot of good in the world, and I think there's room for all of us. Well, a protest took place at the back seat of the celebration at the California Capitol Monday as lawmakers honored drag nun Sister Roma and proclaimed June LGBTQ plus Pride Month. Roma, who belongs to the San Francisco-based Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, was one of 15 guests invited by the legislature's LGBTQ plus <laughs> caucus as the Assembly and Senate passed resolutions proclaiming June as LGBTQ plus Pride Month. Republicans in the Senate called on Senate President Pro Temp Tony Atkins of San Diego to revoke Roma's invitation last Thursday. A group of Catholic and evangelical Christian demonstrators gathered on the Capitol's West Steps Monday afternoon to protest Roma's recognition. In the assembly, when Roma came to the front to receive her award, Republican members left the floor and retreated to the lounge in the rear of the chamber. The remaining members clapped, whooped, and cheered, giving Roma a prolonged standing ovation. Fellow honorees Harry Litt shouted from the back of the chamber, Love you, Roma. Speaking to the Senate, Democratic uh, Senator uh, speaking to the Senate, Democratic Senator Susan Talamantes Eggman of Stockton introduced the Pride Resolution and noted that she identified as a proud Catholic. And uh, we need some help with, um, with Cal's uh, teleprompter, please. Um, it's a great story. Uh, I, I've been at multiple events with uh, Sister Roma before. Um, it's interesting to me on this big dust up that took place at the, the Dodgers Pride Night of going way, there's protests from religious evangelicals to withdraw the invitation of recognition of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, and they do that. And then they come back and apologize and say, oh wait, we'll have the Sisters come back, and they do that. And then they create a faith-based night at the Dodgers. It's like, first off, Dodgers, ooh, boy, did you have a bad oh. month. And then second, I think it's great that the state of California in the state assembly uh, makes the gesture to make sure that Roma is recognized. We're not going to get into the evangelical arguments that caused all of this. They are not a religious order or organization. They're a charity organization. And for all of the people that argue, by the way, Fox News, two and a half hours on the story of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, but the Catholic Church in, in Michigan that was proved to have um, harmed 2,000 children, 37 seconds on Fox News in comparison. Typical. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, um, Comedy Central or Saturday Night Live or read The Onion, that's what the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence are. They are a comedic mm -hmm. um, poke oh. of tongue in cheek, mm -hmm. not a literal implementation of nuns from the Vatican. But, Gosh, guys, uh, read. I mean, look, but the, these are so, this is, at this point, this is so typical of current uh, Republican moves. They either, dom they either want to, if they are the majority, they want to steamroll over other, uh, they steamroll over everything to get their agenda. But if they are not the majority, such as when, right now, the state, the state assembly in, uh, Oregon, the Republicans basically left the legislative chamber so that they cannot have quorum to pass bills. And in California, like, right, you know, oh, I don't like that person. So let's go, let's just pick up our ball and go home and go to the back lounge like that's childish that, well and you know i was gonna say the, the biggest threat that we're not saying here you you allude to it but let's just say it this is another republican fascist attack on free speech because mm -hmm. they're saying nuns should be above reproach and nuns uh no nothing should be 
above reproach. And if they're attacking this, it's only I mean, they're in a huge, a huge minority in California. Yeah. If this came up in Florida, there's a chance legislation against the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence could actually pass. Uh, wait, it, and it, we have a we have well, a yeah, right? we do have a we have a chapter yeah. here in South Florida. Yeah. And so, and so let's go back to that. There's two things that we can talk about about the situation. A, the work that the sisters do. The work the sisters were the first to go into the hospitals and take care of our, our, our folks who were suffering with AIDS. They were the first to go, do fundraisers for the AIDS folks. They were the first to go and hold people's hands. So if that when that gentleman tried to compare them to what quote unquote a nuns do, they actually did a charitable work to make sure those people A didn't die alone and that they were truly being sick. Secondly, they also help children, not only just our community, but they raise funds for teddy bears and for kids who are left alone. And then finally, you mentioned about the Republicans. Look at what they did to Zoe Sefford. Look what they did to those two gentlemen, yeah. Justin Pierce and Justin Jones. When you don't agree with them, they, they then take their toys and leave. And think about what Marjorie Taylor did. She booed, she booed, she booed. But when we booed her two weeks ago, when folks, not we, because I wasn't there, I would have loved to have been there. Please tell me a tear. She shed a tear. Oh my gosh, she complained and complained about the corn. But ma'am, follow your own advice. Yeah. Start with you. And I wonder, is she one of those folks who say, don't do as I do, yeah. do as I say to her children. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine. Yeah. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community, with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.